Let's get started. I'm going to start recording now. Guys, welcome to part two of the April San Miguel interview, Notary Hacks and Resources. My name is Bill Soroka. I'm the founder of notarycoach.com and the Sign and Thrive Notary Training Course and Community. And April, thank you so much for really uh, committing so much of your energy, your time, your resources, and your information to help other notaries grow their business. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, I love what I do. So for the, um, I'll just kind of give you guys a quick history here real quick about me and, and what I do and what have you. So I decided about, well, it's actually, I just celebrated my two year, uh, uh, my two year notary anniversary. Um, I needed a mobile, uh, a mobile notary. I don't know why guys, but I'm like a little nervous. Look, I'm shaking. <laughs> April doesn't get shaky. Let's I'm, all just take a deep breath and get down with the spirit of the notary here. Oh. You know? yeah. Well, I've just been so thrilled and I've been so excited to, to have this call with you again and just to share, you know, some of the things I've learned this past year. So anyway, with that said, um, I decided that I was uh, going to be a notary because I needed a, a notary for my mother and I had a really hard, hard time finding someone. And I called like 10 people and they couldn't get there till the following day. And I was like, hmm, there must be a need for more, more notaries. I knew that there was something called a notary public and didn't really know like, how do I apply? Where do I go get a job? All that good stuff. Um, didn't know the first thing about having a website and Google. Um, you know, we're business phone number. And so my number one step was I found you. <laughs> <laughs> I found Bill, you know, and uh, he was a great resource and what have you. So what my plan is today is to kind of, I know we talked about it last time to kind of recap some of the things that um, I taught you guys and what I've learned um, over these past year, two years to get my business where it is today. Like for instance, um, if you do Denton notary, typically if everybody's typing in it right now, you'll see that hopefully I'm either one, number one, number two, or number three. And I'll share with you my secrets. Or, and I say my secrets, I'll share with you what I did and what works for me, if that makes sense. And I'm telling you like starting right out of the gate, all the business, all of the business I have gotten is through Google My Business. And it is a free website with Google, free. And they have improved it so much even since last time we talked. Like I probably should go work for Google, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you are a great spokesperson for them for sure. Exactly, exactly. So so let's just get started with that with Google, I mean, uh, with Google My Business. So essentially, and I'm kind of give a general overview, but yet a detailed overview, if that makes sense to you guys. And my apologies, I miscommunicated with Bill, and I wanted to have some or, uh, to have slides for you guys. So I, I apologize, you're just gonna have to look at me the whole time. <laughs> um, anyway, so Google My Business. So and Bill chime in too. Um, Google My Business is where your customers, so all of your, we're all mobile, right? What's the first thing you do when you need to find a local service? You go, hey Siri, I have hot Australian Siri for me. <laughs> sometimes he doesn't, oh, he's, sometimes he doesn't understand what I'm saying and he doesn't get me either. But anyway, they say um, mobile notary near me. And what does that do? It goes to Google search or Bing um, and it pulls up a local search of all the no, whatever you said for it to find per se and what where it's going where it's coming from is Google my business so Google my business is using Google search and Google Maps and that's how it's finding you because customers are either finding you because they want information which is the search or they want to find where you are which is the maps um, now some of us some people do um, notaries out of their home office or some people do them you know meet it um, at places or what have so it just depends on where it has you in the Google Google map. I can't talk because I'm so nervous. <laughs> Slow down, April. I'm just excited. And I feel yeah. like a big expectation because I want to help everyone too. So I hope well, I just you, need to calm down. <laughs> yeah, you're doing you're doing great though. And what you're talking about here is search engine optimization. And if That's Google can't find you, you won't your customers can't find you. So exactly. what Google, Google My Business does is it, help, it helps, it's like a, uh, just a uh, real quick type in your information. Google asks you these questions. It puts it together and it bridges the gap. So when um, people or potential customers type in notary near me, which I just posted this on social media the other day. Uh -huh. I don't know if you saw this, but there's between 50 and 250,000 searches per month of notary near me. Yes, that's what I get from. Those for, are yes. huge key terms there. 
So I love that you're talking about this. It's super timely for, for everything that's going for on. For everything. And you know what? I think maybe what we could do, if you're okay with this, and I don't have a problem with it, you know what? As long as you guys don't go to my tow yard here in Denton, because that's my place, <laughs> I'll share everything with you. <laughs> and we'll talk about tow yards in a minute. Maybe yeah. I should open up my um, Google My Business page. Would that be okay if I did that? Can, you, can they see that? Or what, what are your thoughts? Should we kind of... Yeah, absolutely. I think okay. that I think that a lot of people think that a Google My Business page is either expensive or cheap. So I would yeah. like them to be able to see what it's all about. Yeah, they don't necessarily it's really. Pretty understand. phenomenal and awesome because it's free, and it's simple and easy to use. Absolutely. So I've got it pulled up. So I'm not sure how I would be able to I'll share my you. screen. So uh, when over my oh, face right now. Okay. Uh, if you hover your mouse, there okay. is a little toolbar down below and the green box with an arrow popping out of it. Oh, share. Sure. Okay, perfect. All right. Oh, no, we don't want that one. Hold on. You share the right screen. Yes. Hold on. I don't know what that is. Choose carefully. Yeah, yeah, I know. Exactly right. We don't want anything popping up that we don't. Is it showing? No. Oh, let's see. Okay. Make sure you hit the share button first, though. Oh, gotcha. Okay, hold on. Let me close that. Let me try this again. Sorry. Into notary to go share boom are y'all seeing it just about there we go yeah so we we're, it looks like we're looking at your insights yes okay so we'll go over here to home so guys this is google my business all right so when you go over here and you do denton notary I better come up. I better come up one or two. Come on. <laughs> Why is the local search not coming? Oh, because I did it. This is weird. Normally it pulls up. Hold on just a second. It's probably because you're lost. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, boom. All right. So this is where you want to be, guys. Um, this is uh, where Google My Business. So over here, this is my Google My Business page, and it's coming up um, over here because I have my Google My Business page. So this is how, for us and our business, because we are service-based business, people are going to, you want to have a Google My Business page because it's your local search and it's your local maps. And nine times out of 10, at least for me and my business, because I, I focus on general mobile notary work, people, all they want from me is they want to find me and they want to call me and that's it. Um, they don't really look at anything else in my website, although we need to develop that and we need to have that so you can be found. But for the most part, oh, and my reviews too. They Let me tell you, I've realized over the years, people do read the reviews and they always like, when I, you know, when I come over and I do the notary and they're like, I read your reviews, you've got great reviews. And I said, well, thank you. And I'm like, am I living up to your expectations? <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> um, and here's another cool tool that I have right here. It's called Keywords Everywhere. And it's a, um, it's a Chrome extension that you can put on your computer. And Bill, if you wanna, um, what you were talking about with this right here, the 31,000. So that's what Bill was talking about. Like 31,000 people are searching for notary public near me. Pretty powerful stuff there. So yeah, that's keywords everywhere. That's something that Tyler, our SEO instructor, is a, a huge advocate for. So I love that. Yeah. Would you mind clicking onto your website so people? Oh can yes, see your website? yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's go back over here. Okay, so this is my website here. Um, so there's lots of different components within here. So this is like your dashboard. So it's basically um, giving you an overview of, of your account here. So we'll just kind of talk. Oh, this is what I want to tell you guys about. Okay, so does anybody pay for Google? Google ads or advertising, say, I, I did in the beginning and spent hundreds, didn't really do much for me. Well, this right here with your post, this is so cool. On your post over here, you can add an update to your business. You can add an event or an offer. So this offer right here, guys, you would pay hundreds of dollars to advertise an offer that you may have, like $10 off your services or what have you. These posts are huge. And what I found is a lot of notaries don't think to make post per se, because there's nothing really special or not, not special. Um, what am I trying to say here? There's nothing postable, I guess, per se. Like, do you talk about, you know, I'm signing a piece of paper or what have you. So you have to get creative with what you post here, you know, but I'll do things like these are our types of documents. So you always want to have in your post, you want to have information, like what it is that you're, what, 
what when your customer sees this you want to tell them hey here's april here's what she offers this is what she does and you want to have a call to action so it'll give you a call to action so for instance we can go over here to add an offer and this is where you can post your picture here you can make it a title you can have a timeline so you can say it starts at a certain time or it ends at a certain time um, and then you can add more detail you can get it as detailed and as niche it, niche as you need it to be um, and oh uh, about pictures pictures are huge guys so reviews pictures and being um, I can't think of the word Tyler says it well um, NAM with your business name address what is the uh, be what, now, name, address, phone number, or NAP. NAP, NAP. yeah. Yeah, NAP, NAP. Yeah. Um, the NAP, and I'll explain that in just a minute, but um, those are what helps you get found. Um, like I said, when I said with Google My, I get so passionate about this, I'm like, oh, I can't talk fast enough. With Google My Business, like I said, you don't need a website, but you do in a sense, like you need social media, you know, you need Facebook, you need LinkedIn, you need um, a, a Yelp account. Like the more you have your information out there, the more you will get found. With that said, Google My Business does a great job in getting you found and you can fly just with Google My Business. But the more you have out there about you with all these different sources, the more you're going to be like, oh, okay, Denton Notary to go. They're an authority out there. They're all over the place. So Google is going to use that in part of their algorithms as well. What's and, really, and, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. No, 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 sorry. I was, I was going to jump put, in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because what, so Google has built in all of these tools to help them be of better service to their customers, which are people who are searching for stuff. So this is almost like a built-in blog about your business. So if you actually utilize the tools that Google gives you for free, it prioritizes these tools above other sites that don't use them. So when you're out there and you're posting videos or you're posting photos and you're using the offers and all these different little tools, that is going to help your search engine optimization. And that's what this, this is all this stuff. Okay. So this is, and this is Google My Business. This is what pops up first when you're looking for a service base, like a place that you want to go to per se, okay? Um, and then this down here is all the website stuff, all that stuff I just told you, your Facebook, your Pinterest. So for us as service providers, we want to be all up in here. If you weren't, if you were, look at that, we won't be all up in there, right, Bill? <laughs> exactly. But if you were a business that you sold products or something like that, then that's where you're like, you want this to be instead of that, if that makes sense. Perfect. Okay. Now, we've got a, actually a really great question that continues sure. to come up, even, even when Tyler's uh, teaching search engine optimization. It's, do you use your home address for this? Yes, I do. And, and guys, I, that, this is what I was trying to say earlier, Bill. Now, what I'm telling y'all, I am not an expert. I am not paid. I'm not telling you if you do this, you're going to win and it's going to work and your phone's going to ring all the time. I'm just telling you what worked for me. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there too. And, and maybe I say something that may not be right. I'm just going with what I know. So I just had to say that real quick, just in case. Um, but I know that what I've done has worked, right? Because I'm getting the business and I'm getting the calls. Um, so address. So you can spin it however you want it. It's 2019. If somebody wants to find you, they're going to find you, right? And so why not make it, you're a service-based business. You are a public servant per se. You're a good person. You do good things. Um, nobody's going to really come and try to get April Sam. I mean, nobody's calling a notary and thinking. So my, my, po my point is, is yes, have your address on there. Just, that's just my opinion. Um, and Google may not like that. I don't know, but I get more calls because I have my address on there. So when they call, they say, where are you located? Or they don't even say, where are you located? Because I have so much information out there on me that I'm a mobile notary. And I say, I offer mobile notary services. I come to you. Well, if I came to you, do you charge less? Nope. It's I come to you. But your address is just helping you rank with all the other places. You just have to have address if that makes sense. You get where I'm saying with that, Bill? Yeah, it's totally. So, and uh, Tyler concurs with you. He says, you've got to use your home address because if you start using UPS stores, 
sometimes it's Google's awesome. okay with it, but if another mobile notary uses that same UPS store or a similar service, it can affect the algorithm a little bit. Now, Denitria actually brought this up in the chat window too. There's actually a way that you can enter your address but then hide and it. Hide it. Like, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. That's probably not a bad idea as well, because then it just gives kind of a general area or your cross streets about where you're located. Exactly. So there are options, so you know, if you're if you're a private person, you can stay private uh, and still not lose uh, tons of business that way. Yeah, I, I get, like I used to not like on LinkedIn. I was the only accepting people I knew on Facebook. Oh, that's all shot through the wind. <laughs> I just accept everybody because you're you want to get out. You want people to know who you are and what you do and what you offer. And and also too uh, to talk back to the address thing. That's all. That's all tied into this down here. This stuff here because it's part of your name, name, address. No, what do we NAP. call it again? NAP. NAP. Yeah, NAP. Um, you want it to be consistent across the board. So every little thing that you set up, your Pinterest account, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, make sure every single thing is exactly the same because it, it's part of the SEO, the back door of Google, um, that it wants to make sure that it's going to the right person. And if you have like Denton Notary Go, and that's you, but you didn't say to go, it, things can kind of get convoluted. I think that's a really good point uh, for anybody who's listening right now is across the board, staying consistent, those little words and how you write your address, all of that stuff matters to a computer. You know, human beings can say, oh, I know what she meant with a, a smaller, a small case W instead of a big case W or a period after the W and not a period, but a computer does not recognize that. And the computer is what is determining your search engine optimization. So. You just wanna, even if it's just copy and paste everything across the board, across your profiles, across all your social media, just make sure it's all the same. Yeah, exactly, yeah, and, and, and I can't stress, stress that enough. So address, you know, it's up to you. Like I said, this day and age, if people wanna find you, they're gonna find you, right? <laughs> um, but, but I always meet my customers on location. So, oh, and this is a good point too. So now, um, Google is, start, it's kinda of like what Facebook does, but Google, I, um, it tells people how long it takes you to answer their calls. So if you do like a notary near me search, notary near me, I think it's going to tell you, I remember seeing it somewhere, um, how long it takes them to answer their phone. Um, so, well, anywhere it, it, now it's, it's saying how long you take to answer your phone. So when your phone rings, you got to answer it because that's really going to mess up your algorithms. So if I'm, if my phone is ringing and I can't answer it, I make sure I send a text message and I say, thank you for contacting Denton notary to go today. Um, do you need a document notarized? If so, what time and where? And they typically always respond. And I'm so excited about this. Um, with Google, my business now it has messaging. I need to make sure I don't have any customer information. This is just all my information. Yeah. Um, but now, um, it, it will send you messaging through the um, app. So it, it's promoting itself in the sense that you need to have this app. Because if a customer chooses, when you make a post, for instance, over here, let's just do a, um, an ad. If we add a button and we add the, oh, I didn't choose the right one. If we add, it's one of these buttons up here and we add the way they can contact you and you choose messaging. It's not going to go to your phone number to message. It's actually going to go to Google's built in messaging with um, Google, my business. Did I make sense with that? Yeah. So what you're talking about, is that the same as Google voice? No, that's a whole different ballgame. Totally yeah. separate. Yeah. Totally separate. Um, I, I, my verdict is out on that yet. I've only had a couple of people send me a message that way. I'm not sure. I love Google Voice. You know how much I love Google. I love you, Google, and Google Voice, <laughs> and Google Keep, and Google Photos, and Maps for my business. Uh, anyway, with that said, um, with Google Voice, the reason why I love it so much is because um, you can archive your text messages and your phone numbers. And now that I've been doing this for two years, I didn't think I was going to get repeat business. I've been getting a lot of repeat business. Um, and so what's really cool is like when they text me, um, I see my past conversation with them. And it's an easy way to manage your conversations in the sense that you can archive them. So you don't have to um, 
keep them per se. Cause like in my iPhone, I can't really do that. I don't want to delete it, but I always see it type thing, if that makes sense. So I wonder how Google My Business is going to keep the messages that you want to keep, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of cool because um, people only need a notary when they need a notary. So it's not always like you're, you're chit-chatting every day, staying in touch, and then all of a sudden they need a notary again. Sometimes that's a year later. So you're saying that the messages will pop up and they'll kind of refresh your memory. Like, oh yeah, this exactly. is Bob. And I did mm -hmm. a POA with him last year. And so it kind of, you can kind of stay in touch that way and reconnect on a, yeah. on a deeper level. And I can't tell you how many times that's helped me and stuff. And, and I guess I'll talk to this real quick too, as far as like repeat business. Um, one of the, I get a lot of, I've been getting a lot of calls now lately for, um, from like doctor's offices and attorneys that are in other states that have somehow found me. So whatever it's I'm doing on my website or whatever I've found, they're finding me. Um, one thing that I did, because the other thing guys that you could do too with your website and your advertising, how you do things is just play around with it. You know, try different things. Did this work? Did I get more calls this week? You know, because I said this or said that. Um, so one thing that I did, nobody around me here and didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> I put, I put on my website, I said, when your local bank because bank is a keyword when you go over here to this uh, search. See, see this right here? You wanna have somehow, you wanna like intertwine all these little things over here within your, um, within your website or within your verbiage that you say wherever you say it, if that makes sense, like on social media posts. So I put on there, um, when UPS is closed and your bank and post now, I'm open. So I'm not really giving the, I, I'm, so I'm getting keywords searched for that term. And as you can see, look, these are the top ones up here. People are UPS notary, 2,400. They're not Denton notary to go at all anywhere down here. <laughs> exactly. That's a really good point. And that what is what makes these keyword uh, tools so valuable. If you just typed in notary near me or notary public, you would see what everybody in the country is searching for. Mm -hmm. And you can build that into the content of your website in your social media posts for exactly what April's talking about. Now, April, we got a great question from Mike. Mm -hmm. Can you give us just a ballpark of like how many, how many calls every month you think you get from just SEO searches, internet searches? Every one of my calls. Every one of them. Every one of them. Well, with the exception of now my referrals. So I would say about 90% of my business is Google My Business. I, and I always ask them, how did they find me? And they always say, Google. You know, and that's how they found me. And like Yelp, hold on. I want to stop sh sharing the screen. Let me look at yeah. something real quick before I share it. How do I make it not share? So you up at the top now of your screen, there would be like stop share, it will say. Um, oh, maybe it's this right here. Ah, let me move this real quick. Uh, more. Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I? I don't know how to. Why can't I figure this out? There. Oh, oh, I just saw it. Oh, did just I get rid of it? Away. Okay, let me look at that real quick. Um, now I don't know how to get out of this. I don't want to mess this up. Now I'm in full screen. I am tech savvy, guys. <laughs> Hang on one second. Let me do insights. Just while, so I, you're, while you're looking yeah. for that, um, how many how many calls per month do you get? Then, well, I'm about to tell you. Okay, guys, this is top secret stuff here. Probably sharing way more than I should, but I don't care. I'm very transparent because um, I'm I'm curious as to see other people's um, accounts if they're getting the same thing too. Am I not getting a lot or am I getting a little? Bill, do you think I should share this, my inside page? I don't see it being a problem. I think that's totally up to you. Um, I think the transparency is totally appreciated. You don't have to share your income or anything. You're just sharing how many times your phone's ringing, right? Okay, yeah. All right, well, here we go, guys. Y'all ready? Boom. All right, so they, uh, this is how customers search for my business. So see, look, right? When I started, it was all- Hold on one second, April, oh, sorry. We, we don't see anything. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. I was getting all excited. I didn't hit share for you. I don't feel excited. I just get so excited because it's like, I want to make you successful and show you what I did because it's so, it works. <laughs> okay, let me do share. All right, didn't make it. Okay. I think that's what makes these calls with you so exciting too, because you're so passionate about this business as well. I am. I'm not shaking anymore. I don't know why, <laughs> why I got all shaky and nervous. Well, because I'm passionate about it. I, you know, it worked for me. Let me help you, you know? So y'all help me too. Okay. I need to lose weight. 
<laughs> I want to go on vacation. Oh, and of which, uh, well, I can't announce where yet, but I just got offered a full-time job. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> but I also do this too. I, uh, anyway, okay. So uh, let me move this out of the way, the toolbar here. All right. So this is my, um, this is my insights. So it's called insights um, with uh, Google My Business. And this is telling me how customers search for my business. So 1,800 people searched for my business last month, or not my business, notary. Okay, so discovery, that's where they go in, you know, they go into their phone and they say, uh, notary near me or whatever, right? That's this right here. Okay, does that make sense, Bill? Yep. Okay, cool. It's hard to do this because I'm not sure like if people, if y'all understand or I'm talking too fast, please let me know. But like I said, I get very passionate. Okay. So when I started two years ago, this was all blue. So now look at the screen. So now these people know who I am, which is kind of cool, you know, and I didn't think that I would be a business that, like you said, people, they, when someone needs a notary, they need a notary uh, then, and they will probably never, ever need a notary. And I don't know about y'all, but the number one comment, well, two, two comments that I always get when they call me is they're like, I didn't even know there was a thing as a mobile notary. And I'm like, me too. That's why I'm a notary. That's why I'm helping you today. And then they're like, I read your reviews. I had to call you, you know? Um, and we'll talk about reviews too, because people ask me about those, mm -hmm. um, how I get them. Um, all right. So with that said, okay. So what that, that's that right there. So we understand all that. And I'm not seeing any questions if there are, are we good with that part? So, yeah, just so we make sure we understand what we're seeing yeah. here is the searches. How does this translate into phone calls or business? We will find out here in just a minute. Good yeah. question, Bill. <laughs> oh, oh, and also you can do it like month, quarter, like quarter um, at 6,800. Uh, 6, does anybody else have a Google My Business? I want to know what your numbers are because I always wonder if like where I stand, you know, if other people. So if anybody wants to share theirs with me, I would love that. I'm sharing with you. You share with me. Yeah, we you can know, share those. Sharing is caring. Uh, just to see. <laughs> yeah, totally. We'll share those um, offline uh, via email. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, because too, I always wonder because sometimes like some days my phone will ring 10 times you yeah. know, and then I'll go, um, five days and it won't ring. You know, you just, it's, it's weird. Uh, so I'm like, are people searching? Like how do it, and then I think is my website not working? You know, like what's going on here. And I have found, even though you wouldn't think that it would be, but notary is kind of a seasonal business per se. And now for me guys, now granted, all of this is just for general notary. I am, I did, I did not, um, model my business as a loan signing agent. I'm, um, mobile or mobile notary services with that said i have um gals within my network and if anybody wants to be i always like to have people if i get a call for a signing i send it to um, someone within my my group and the reason why i did general mobile notary work is because number one the startup cost was like 120 dollars or less how can you start your own business with 120 dollars or less right um and i didn't have to take like the signing course and just because i was working full time and i wanted this as additional income i didn't realize how passionate it would make me and how much like i love it like i love sharing this with you guys you know i just love it dang it i told myself do not cry and get all <laughs> That's okay. Just, you, know, you don't have a good webinar until somebody cries. So I know exactly. Right. Well, and I love helping people guys. I mean, yeah, we're signing our name and we're putting our stamp on a piece of paper, but we're like helping people. The other day, someone was having a really hard time and I'm like, I'm sorry, but I got to give you a hug, you know? And, uh, and he hugged me and he cried for like five minutes. I mean, what other job can you do that and leave feeling so rewarded, you know? And, and, um, and they wrote a review and they said like human touch. So we really are touching people's lives. We really are, you know? Yeah. So, we, all right. We have a beautiful, the beautiful part of our job and our business is that we sure we meet people on the best days when they're buying the house, buying a car, adopting children, but <laughs> we meet them on the worst days too, uh, yeah. literally on their deathbed sometimes where somebody else is dying. So to have, to bring the, that much heart into the business is beautiful and refreshing, April. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. No, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Now show us, show us yeah. how this translates. Okay. So now so these are what people are searching for um, specifically. Now, here's what I don't understand. Um, like, 
is this, is this 140? Do y'all see my mouse when I'm moving it? Yes. Okay. So like, what, what does this 149 mean? Does that mean it's just me 149? Is it just in Denton? Like, I don't know exactly what that means. And I would love to learn to know what that means. Um, but guys, so the, oh, look, divorce notary. Oh, I'm adding that into my, um, into my SEO. That's, that's new. That hadn't been there. Um, but in, there's 119 pages of this. So guys, look at all, where can I get something notarized? Oh, another huge thing to make you more of a, an authority is Q and A. Cause that's what people are doing. They're like, Hey Siri, where can I get some, where can, who's the best notary in Denton, Texas? <laughs> but, uh, because you're, they're asking questions. So let me just do this real quick. And I know, I'm sorry guys, I'm jumping from here to there. And da, da, da. Um, what am I doing? Denton note. Oh, where can I get Okay. Um, and this right here, where is, oh, right here. Boom. Okay. Local is coming up first, but guess what comes up second people questions. This is huge because we're a Q and a, and we're all about mobile. We're all about Siri and what, what's Android's Siri. Google. Okay. Go, oh, let's see. Siri keeps. Um, okay. Google. Right. And we're, we're acting like this is a person and not a computer. And we're like, where is the best food? So people are like, where can I get a document notarized for free? Do post office, you, see, you get where I'm going with this on the questions. So if you make yourself an authority and answer these questions, this might be you. Usually these are the NNA. Oh, the free plan, I seen that person. Uh, but you get where I'm like, look, look at all these questions. I mean, that right there, you don't know what to post. There we go. Post, can a notary marry something on that post over here? Sorry, Bill, I know you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's really great because this ties right back into the search engine optimization. So you can add these questions and answers like a Q and A page onto your website. And even the templates have little ways to do that with the little drop downs and everything. And that's going to add credibility and authority to your website. So that's a great suggestion. Now, April, I'm going to pull you back because okay, I I'm sorry. most of our, most of our uh, audience wants to know how this translates into how many times. Oh, I'm sorry. Every month. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, I'm going to be like the YouTubers do and they to promise you this big old shebang and all that kind of stuff. And then but wait, you're like, wait, more. you're wait. Yeah. Oh, we are making a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I get what they're doing now. No, I promise I wasn't doing that. Okay. So drum roll, please. This is how it is. So it tells you right here. Um, how many, this is listings on search. These are all the different actions I'm getting. Oh, it's same. It's, this is new, the messaging and stuff. Now with that said, this is not accurate yeah. to my, because I have a lot more Google voice calls. So don't take this as, um, this is the end all because I know I've gotten way more than this. Um, like it's only saying 105 call you if I go over to my boot. So that's kind of questionable. Well, oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this, these calls right here are website. This is just if they found you with Google My Business. This is just, that's what that is. This is just related to Google My Business. Does that make sense? So a very specific channel. Very specific. And one, yep. one thing that I have found is that the, even when I use Google voice, it would say I got zero calls, but my phone would light up and I'm like, I've got like 200. There's no yes. way that it was just zero calls. So I, I get that the stats aren't very good. So even outside but, of this though, but, 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 but real quick, this is why real quick, because this is why you want to beat, you want to have your Facebook, you want, you want to have your name and your, you want to have your nap all over the place too because I'm getting those calls. So yeah, so if all I did was Google my business, this is what I'd be getting. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Great, great distinguishment there. Now, or distinguisher. Um, what is, like, what's the, what's a month in the life of April look like for general notary work calls? Is, are we talking 10,000 calls? Are we talking 100 calls? Like, how, how many times does the phone ring? Well, my husband and my kids, every time we set out to go somewhere and do something, I'm like, I gotta go. And I'm like, a lot, a okay. lot, a lot. Yeah. And I have it, working full time. I've got some people I can send some referrals to and stuff like that. I'm kind of worried how this is going to happen. Ask me a year ago. I'd be like, ah. and the reason, and, and I'm not saying, oh, because I'm great. It's the things that I did and I can share with you and me share like the things that I did because I'm getting these calls. I'll just like, 
generally yes. see. That's like what, what I want to know. Doing. And I want to know how much costs you, how much it costs you each month to generate this many phone calls. Boom. Zero. Zero. Um, now you did see that I have a website over here. I do have a website is Denton Notary to go, but I'm using that more so for a blog because I want to monetize and I have lots of things that I can share with you guys, like resources like Canva, uh, where you can make your graphics. If you don't know Canva. Oh, oh see, okay. Hey, what? somebody calling. Um, so what I, what I do when somebody's calling and I can't take the call is I let it go to voicemail. And then I send them a text message right away saying, um, that's when I say, um, I can't take your call right now. Uh, I can't think, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I really want to answer my call. Can y'all hold on and I'll be right back. This is money people, <laughs> money, money. And I say on my website that I am open 24 hours, guys, I'm open 24 hours and I answer my phone. Nothing makes me more mad. I understand that we have situations and all of that, but if you're going to advertise that you're a 24 hour business, you need to answer your phone. If you can't answer it, have somebody else answer your phone. It just makes me so mad sometimes when people say, you know, well, I guess I shouldn't get mad because I'm getting the business because <laughs> they're like, it says 24 hours, but. Um, yeah, that's a really good point. Now, April, uh, we're kind of, we're down to our last 20 minutes. Okay. And Sorry. I know that, I know this, this has been great, but I know there's some really great questions that people have about number one reviews. So I want to talk real briefly about the best strategies to get reviews and then how to add those testimonials to your website if the client doesn't do it for you. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so these are my review. Oh, I have some that I haven't seen yet. Um, uh, okay, so these are your reviews here. And I can't remember exactly. I can send it to y'all. But you can actually send directly. Oh, there's Roberto. Roberto found me through you. And I we did some training together. Um, anyway, with that said, not that I was taken away from you. <laughs> I, should, I didn't mean, I, didn't, no, I, didn't, uh, I have too much to do as it is in my life. Oh, and I, I make logos if anybody needs help with logos. I, let me just add one more thing to my stuff here, right? So anyway, with the reviews here, um, and I'm not, just for you guys, I'm not going to respond to that message. We'll just figure that out. I'm going to let it ride. It's killing me. Um, okay, so for reviews, um, what I do is I have, I don't know if I want people to see this because um, I'm not sure what's around it, but I have set up in my Google Keep, which is, this is Google Keep right here, love Google Keep, or you can use your notes or whatever. I say, um, I have a canned message that I have, um, and when I get in my car, of which when you go to your customers and you're going to their house, park in their driveway, that keeps you a little bit safer because they can't get you because <laughs> your car's right behind them uh, to stay safe. Anyway, I'm in my car and I say, um, thank you so much for choosing Denton Notary to go today. Google customer reviews really help my small business grow. If you were happy or not, because they may not be, I have all five stars in the second that doesn't happen. Oh, not going to be good because I, I strive to give five stars. Um, help my small business grow, happy or not, with my service services today and would like to write a review, here's a link. And I know you probably can't see it, but it's just a canned message that I have. Yeah, and we and can't see it, that's it. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah, a great sorry. message, very professional. And it, you Short and sweet. Gives them a link to... Where to go do it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. And, and, and I thought to myself, okay, well, okay, so I'm asking for a review. They're not like going out and go, God, April is good, and let me write a review review. And I don't always send that sometimes, but how can I say this? The reviews wouldn't sound like this if it, if they didn't want to write it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you're just making this step one more step easier to do because like, for instance, I know I've gone to places. I'm like, man, I really, I want to write a review for them. So I got to remember when I get home, you see what I'm saying? So yeah. people have a problem. They might think, well, I shouldn't have to ask for reviews. It's 2019. You got to, cause we have too much going on, you know, and we're going to forget. So you just want to help them remember. Just make it as easy as possible for them to review. I love that. And it looked like you had over 80 reviews. Yes. Yes. And they're all, they, and they all touch my heart so much. And I probably don't respond right, but you know, like a hug, this is my hug, you know, that I can help people. It's just awesome guys. It, it is, really so, is so powerful. I mean, that's why we're all here. I mean, to be of service and to touch these lives like this. Now yeah. we, we got a repeated question here. 
Um, and so Don asks uh, just about that since we're talking about it. Do you text them the link with that script? Yes, that's what she does. She texts Absolutely. the link. Mm -hmm. So they just click on it right on their phone and it goes right to the right place on Google to write that review. Tell that person, give me their phone number. I'll send them my little, I'll send them my message. Y'all can all write me a review. Yeah. All the <laughs> responding. And, and here's the thing guys, like my name is typo apo and I use voice to text and I don't prove it's bad. Hot Australian series. Sometimes he gets me, sometimes he doesn't, but you know, you are you, you be, you, you be authentically you. And that's what people are going to love. And that's what people are going to, um, um, I, I don't know how to say it, but just, be authentically you. This is me, guys. <laughs> that's, what, that, that's what people remember is the authentic part of who you are. And you know, um, you're going to be hearing me even talk a lot about this coming up in the next year, over the next year, where general notary work is going to be like a huge force oh, of mine too. But your job, you have two jobs when you show up to these appointments for general notary work. Number one, do the job you were hired to do and do it exquisitely well. And then number two, lay the foundations for a relationship that will last well beyond that one transaction. And I, what I love about your system here, April, is that's exactly what this does. You open the door to being able to stay in touch, give reviews, open that door of communication so you can get the continued repeat business. Yeah, and I have gotten business from my customers as well. Um, oh, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this one made me mad. Three, uh, so I have to three stars and I looked at my book you didn't I didn't even see you I don't even know who you are why did you do that and then if you had a problem that's fine I, I get it I'm not perfect I like to think I am no I'm kidding <laughs> I'm not perfect but tell me what I did wrong because I want to give you five stars I work hard to get my business and I you know that why did why does that little why does that little free well, get me? <laughs> and, that, and that's the thing too, is there's, there are people who never please everyone. go through and they give bad reviews on everything. So we can't do everything about that. Now, uh, there, this repeat question that keeps coming up. Do you have a way, if somebody leaves a review somewhere else, maybe on a thumbtack or maybe it's handwritten somewhere, do you have a way to add in a manual review on Google that you are aware of? Canva screenshot. I, I so what I do is I, I um, screenshot, um, uh, so what I do, let's just see, um, uh, where, where we go? Um, I'm trying to find something that's not, um, oh, this girl, she was so cute. I loved her. She was awesome. So you can do like a screenshot. Oops. I do a screen. Okay. My thing sometimes, hold on. Why is that not going? Well, I think that might be, yeah. I think that might be different than the question that was asked. Oh, okay. Let me okay. just clarify. Sure. Somebody else has left a, a review on Thumbtack, but you want right. it to be on Google. So can you copy from Thumbtack and add it to the Google review list? Or is that only from users? Absolutely. You can, but all you're doing is uh, copy and pasting. So that's why I would recommend to take a screenshot, make it into a picture or put it in a, you know, put it in a blog post, put it on a social media and you can put it on your website. I mean, you could take a screenshot of this, you know, and clean it up. And there's so many apps that you can really clean things up nicely and blur. Like you can wipe out, um, the white, like, uh, your, your email that you sent, it says, uh, good morning, April. I just used an app and blurred that out. So it just had your, just the body of your email. And I, you know, screenshot of that made it into a little graphic and then post it out like that. Does that, does that make sense? And there are some places where you can link your Google to whatever, wherever. Um, and I see it changing. Um, I, I see them adding things um, all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Does all that right, make awesome. sense? Yeah. It just doesn't sound like, I don't think there's a way that you can manually add a review to Google. That's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up here. But I love your idea about having the graphics from the other ones and just using that to promote your business. That's, that's beautiful. That's and that's one. something that that's like next level stuff that most people don't. April, yeah, I'll show I, think you real we, quick. I think we better jump into the questions though. Okay, we can, but let me show you this real quick. Hold on people. <laughs> I'll show you real quick. Like what I did for my LinkedIn, um, me, uh, view profile. And I just posted this the other day, only 85 post views. Come on people. <laughs> hey, April, um, April, Patricia uh, says your passion is refreshing and infectious. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. So like this right here, this is what I did is I screenshotted the reviews and I just made it into a little post here. And Hey guys, 
if you have movement in your in your um, social media post, it's viewed more, like it's SEO'd more. Um, I don't know why, I don't know how, but that's what I've been told. Y'all like my little emoji there in she cute? <laughs> um, but this is how I address that issue with uh, reviews, if that makes sense. How'd you make your emoji? What's the um, website? Oh, I'm missing this again, guys. Okay, just for y'all. <laughs> Killing me. Okay, I gotta go. See y'all later. <laughs> you don't understand. Oh, oh. Uh, a pretty good idea. <laughs> okay, so this was I got Bitmoji. I don't know if I'm allowed to do it. Bitmoji might be like, but this is my Bitmoji, and usually it has like a yup or whatever. But I use another app where I blur out that stuff, and then I make my Bitmoji transparent. And I use Canva uh, doing that. I love Canva. If anybody ever wants to learn how to. Uh, I have so many resources. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to type in Canva, guys. Canva has changed my life. I know I have. I love oh, me some Canva. And it's free. It's very free. All right, Dominique is raising her hand. Dominique, go. What do you got for us? You are muted, so if you're talking, we cannot hear you. Oh, are we not doing all the questions people sent us too? We got more there. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Well, Dominique has her hand raised. So I was going to give her first dibs. Absolutely. Right. Hello, Dominique. You're oh, on the air oh, with Dominique April says at McDowell. She to learn how to use Canva. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Hello, a, we'll, hear we'll me? Dominique, hello. Hi, I can. My, yeah, I can. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, okay, Bill, I just want to explain the reason why April is hype because Hispanic women were very hype because we drink a lot of cafe with stuff. <laughs> 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 yes. Nothing um, wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I tried using the Canva, but apparently I'm not using it properly because I just keep getting all the like the lame little um, stuff. Um, I'm not, but we probably can discuss that at another call. But this is all my Canva here, and there's another app that I use too to make the movement and stuff. But yeah, this is Canva. Um, oh. I love, that's a whole nother ball game. <laughs> whole yeah, nother we'll, story, whole nother day. Yes. <laughs> we'll do a special training on that because that I think Canva we should. actually can change your life. And actually, um, uh, my uh, one of my business partners, Zion, has created a little video too. It's on YouTube. And I'll share that with you guys too because I think, and then April, I love the work that you've done. You've really taken Canva. I'll do a Canva. Yeah, I mean, I've, I, I have that on my, on my um, because there's a couple other things. But if you ever want that, we'll talk about that later. I love Canva and I just became an affiliate with them. Oh guys. And another thing too, like if there's stuff you love, become an affiliate and you can, you know, make additional, um, that's a whole nother ball game too. <laughs> of all these other ball games. All right. Um, so okay. Questions. Do... Sorry. <clears throat> no problem. This is um, fun. Let's, let's go ahead and just jump into the questions you have. Let's stop sharing your screen. For okay. Me. Yes. Let's get that out of there. I hope that helped everyone. I opened up and transparent with y'all, so hope you liked it. <laughs> that was awesome. We really appreciate it. You guys it. Okay. don't even realize how much you do for my household. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Dominique. <laughs> don't make April cry again. She has to read some questions. <laughs> and I have customers that y'all, I'm in through gold. <laughs> All right, April, what's next in the question box? Oh, in my box, okay. Oh, yeah, Lawrence, yes, Canva is free. They have oh. a premium version. It's only 10 bucks a month though, or 12 bucks a month, super cheap, but it's free for the basic version. Okay, question. So I don't know what the questions are. Bill emailed them to me and then I sent them to my, um, to my daughter and she cut them up and put them all in all the little papers here. So this is truly, we hadn't rehearsed, nothing. All right, what is the difference in signing agent versus general notary work business model? Well, I think we kind of went through that. So it's, um, you can make money. Guys, I make money as a general notary work. I make good money with it too. Um, and you can do that when you market yourself, you put yourself out there, you do your Google My, uh, Google My Business. Oh, another thing I was thinking about doing, Bill, and it's a beautiful thing when you do wills, you know, and you have two witnesses, the notary and the person signing the will. And like, I have a little round table and we push all the papers through. So you could make wills your niche guys. Cause people are like, well, where do I get businesses? Find a little niche within the niche. You know, you're a divorce notary. That's your jam. Run with it. Do it. I am a will notary. And you, you uh, network and market with every attorney in town and financial planner and you know, whatever. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's good. So, and I'm going to jump in here too, if you don't mind, April. Yeah. Oh yeah, please I'm do. Please a, I'm do. a huge fan and a proponent of general notary work. 
in the way that it differs. So, you know, when you become a loan signing agent, you can either go market directly to escrow or closing agents, um, build relationships that way, or you can work as an independent contractor for existing signing companies. Great business models, both of them, depending on they what are. you do. <clears throat> for general notary work, you're going to get business basically from like three main ways. Number one, search engine optimization, which is what April's talking about. Google my business. That's the number one. Number two, you can build up these referral relationships that she just mentioned. Going to family law attorneys, estate planning attorneys, mm -hmm. financial planners. There are financial documents that have to be notarized. You can do vehicles. You can do the tow yards. You can do any number of relationships. Not there. the tow yard in Denton. That's not the Denton tow yard. <laughs> and then number I'm not three, right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're not taking that. Um, mm -hmm. Number three is uh, some of the more traditional advertising, like the car magnets on your vehicle, display ads in the local neighborhood newspapers. Those work really well. Next I make those too. Time. Yes. The, yeah. The, yeah. 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 There, there's so many ways, guys. There are so many ways. And, and people are like, oh, I'm not going to make that much money as a general notary. Well, then if you don't think you're going to make that much money as that, then maybe a signing agent is a better fit for you in the sense that it would be kind of more consistent. But if you need some additional cash flow or, you know, you, you work full time, but you want general notary work, it's doable, it's payable. But I did, somebody did ask me like, do you make a lot of money? Well, do you make a lot of money? Do you hustle? Do you get passionate and cry and going, you learn Canva, you learn, you know, you learn how to optimize your website. You, I, I have nobody to think but myself on the business that I'm getting. So you hustle and you educate yourself and you put yourself out there Okay, three now. Seriously, this is it's a very five fifty two. I know <laughs> five fifty two. Okay, we got six minutes or eight. I'm not good at math. <laughs> then we're done. <laughs> uh, the, what I would like to address too is we have a question about here about how do you make money? How do you charge as a general notary work? So that I really want to just take the moment, take a moment to talk about your state specific laws. Your state spells out in the state statutes or your notary handbook exactly what you can charge mm -hmm. for your notary work. There's going to be usually a fee for your actual notarial act. You know, how much a maximum that you can charge. And then they're going to give you allowances for mileage, convenience, um, whatever they might call it in your, in your particular state. So it's mm -hmm. real important to grasp that and understand that. And that really brings me to another point too, April, right? Is the training. Mm -hmm. because this is a very gray business sometimes there's oh yes and you have the law you. is silent on so many different things we have to do our due diligence we don't know everything so take it upon yourself to become the expert in your state this mm -hmm. industry is craving it you know there's other notaries that need you and the general public who only need us a couple times a year they need you they need mm -hmm. your status they need you on your a game so I'm and, sorry. And, we'll yeah, off. no, and that's okay. And and that's another way where you get business. Meet the notaries in your region because they can't always take every single call, right? So you want to be their point of um of uh, a resource, you know. And I want to have a resource. I don't have to. I can just tell my customer, no, I'm not available. I'll hang up. But I want. I'm customer service oriented. I want to give them a resource. You yeah. know, I want to give that. To them um, but there was something else I was going to say about that and I forgot but absolutely general notary work is very doable um, and, and you can do both or whatever just for me and my schedule and what have you that's what's fit for me I love it uh, Dana asked uh, what's a realistic uh, monthly revenue for a notary who's just starting out and is going to do both general notary work and loan signings uh, but, April I'd love to hear your that's, experience yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, absolutely. And you, to me, you epitomize the hustle. I mean, you're out there, you're doing all kinds of things. And I knew it took a little bit of time for you to build up your business too. Sure. So tell me what your, what your third month looked like and your 15th month looked like. Third month, I, got, I could have my... Uh, you don't have like, to get... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I was just trying to think of something because like, um, this is my third book. I don't know if that would give any indication that this is my third... No, because you're doing more lines. Maybe um, like I said, some week, like last month was a very, 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 very good month. I mean, my phone, literally my kids are like, really, you know, or my husband, um, it, again, it goes back to the hustle. Like, are you going to attorneys? Are you getting yourself out there and letting people 
I'm not sure. Ask the question again. <laughs> revenue wise. Oh, okay. Revenue. Just starting and, out. Third month, making what? A few hundred, few thousand? More. On your third month. And now. Oh, oh now very well. So now very you're making well. well over that. Yes. So, yes, very and, well. And I'll say it too, because um, for a loan signing agent, it's relatively easy to make two grand a month. So yeah. consider general notary work, gravy on top of that. You if, do, and you do have to hustle, do more jobs. Yeah. Yeah. If you hustle, you can make, I mean, you can make three or four or 5,000 relatively easy and just in loan signings right now. And then your you five do? minutes, you know, That's the signing agent important. hour. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Typically. Yeah. Sorry. I, I over talk. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> That's perfect. Next question. Oh, in there. Oh, okay. And there was one other thing I was going to say about money and revenue too. Um, uh, but also a factor, make sure you write down all your miles, um, but money, money. Oh, I remember now. So one thing I do because I'm going and I'm meeting my customers, what I do and I can send it to Bill, but I have a, I have a picture that I made in Canva where it's a picture of myself. So they know what I look like a picture of my car. So they know what my car looks like when I pull up and then my fee schedule for them. I don't publish my fees that, that we could, that's a whole, that could be a whole nother hour on fees and what you charge and all that, but you have to, factor in yourself so you can make good money or you can have a big heart like I do sometimes and wave my fee when you see that people you know need a little help every once in a while it's okay that you do that April just don't do it all the time <laughs> um where was I going with that so I mean because I think people are like well all these people say you can make thousands of dollars yes you can but you got to work to do it so third month, I mean, I think third month was good too. Um, and I have a way I keep my expenses. Oh, I have like um, Everlance and I can go on there and I can actually see how much revenue I have. I love that. And it's my miles on there too. And I like it because I can put cash entries in there. Sometimes we forget to do, because I get, my business is a cash business for the most part. Okay, sorry. No, so, I love that. Question, okay. And our time is almost up. I got some phone calls to make. So are we done yet? <laughs> Do you hear? I said our time is almost up. I've got to. Um, okay. What is the best day to have clients leave reviews? Where should I be set up to have that happen? Well, I explained Google My Business. Okay. Yelp. Um, don't ever pay any advertising for Yelp. I don't like Yelp. I have some reviews on there and they're not even being shown because I guess they think it's fraud or something like that. But if you read the review, you would see it. Yelp doesn't like you to ask for reviews. Google, sorry, my mouth is getting dry. Um, Google encourages you to ask for reviews because Google knows that's very important to customers. I mean, that's very important to people. Like it's, you know, top three, top two per se. I'm, I, from what I gather, and this is my opinion. And Yelp, since their business was based quote unquote on reviews, I can see why they have that standpoint because they want it to be authentic and real. Google, well, Yelp right? has, am I Yelp, thinking about that right? Yelp has a, um, a an unusual business model too, and it's very aggressive. And just so you merchants in the background don't like Yelp, mm -hmm. um, I mean they like it because it drives revenue. But yeah. once you pay for advertising with Yelp and you stop, then you lose a ton of reviews. So they like they manipulate things. So there's not some. Some people love it. Some people obviously don't. So and for me, guys, the calls that I get in the business that I've had, it's all been Google My Business. Google, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Nice um, set up. Oh, and bet, uh, have clients re leave reviews. Like I said, have that canned message, send it to them when you're in your car and no, it's not like, Hey, do you like me? Tell everybody you like me. No, it's you making it more convenient. Cause when you were walking out that door, they said, April is so great meeting you today. What a great service. You, you were faster than pizza delivery, you know? And then you send them, you said, and I have been told that, <laughs> uh, but you send them that review so that you make it easier for them to share it to the world. Um, okay. I am launching a mobile notary and loan signing biz. What is the most effective and cost effective way to market my business? Um, so where do I even begin? <laughs> There's so many things. I have your Google, my business page, um, open it. I, I get excited. Uh, um, people ask like, what social media platform should I be on? Okay. There's like 500 of them, right? Pick one or two and master those one or two, because if you have 50 of them, those 50 are going to look like you only worked just a little bit, you know, and in which platform is better. I don't know. You know, sometimes I think it might be LinkedIn. Sometimes I think it might be Pinterest or make YouTube videos. Um, 
and then go out to attorney's offices, doctor's offices, you know, post in that next door app, your neighborhood app, uh, go to fairs where people are service oriented fairs, put your name out there, join Facebook groups, not the notary Facebook groups, but the mommy groups or the attorney groups, everything that would kind of how to do wills or whatever groups, put yourself in there. Quora is huge. Um, or it's getting more because Quora is a question and answer site and that's where you want to go and you want to see somebody asking questions about notary or whatever you go in there and answer them um, and so and and that gets you more out there for the nap <laughs> or, or but there's something else backlinks that's what I'm talking about backlinks is all the different places like the thumbtack the Yelp the so the more backlinks you have the more your business is established and Google realizes, oh, Denton Notary is a, the real deal. Right. Yep, that's huge. And then if you, so, and I'll also throw in here too, there's three main directories that will work for both the loan signing side and for general notary work. And that's the 123 Notary, the Notary Cafe, and Notary Rotary. They all have free options. So you can have a listing on there for free. What One thing you want to do is optimize your profiles. April talk, spoke to this a little bit about the consistency, but also in the authenticity. Show your personality. People don't care how much insurance you have to protect you if you make a mistake. They just That's not a value to them. They mm -hmm. want somebody who cares about their problem and can solve it. Mm -hmm. If you can add some personality to that, that will help enhance your- I have problem. no personality. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> I don't like talking to people. I don't like customer service. I hate it. Oh. And I guess, yeah, I guess for me too, it, 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 and I get a little personal. I don't know how many people are on the call or whatever, but you know, it's like, this is my journey. I decided I wanted to do it. I figured it out. I did it. I did it all on my own. And if I can do it, all you guys can do it, you know, and, and, and help along the way. But I mean, you know, it's a pretty cool thing. And I, I'm kind of proud of myself, you know, that I, I did it. I figured it out. Yeah. And you did a great job too. I mean, this is to go with your, your first year, you were 2018 Denton County notary of, of the year. So that's pretty big best deal. of. And I tell my customers when I'm, when I'm signing, I'm like, you realize I won the best of Denton County. This is like the best signature in Denton and that's a $20 premium. <laughs> I'm adding $20. Just try to make it better. Well, April, I, but what you really symbolize, though, is no matter what level we get to, we can never forget that we have a responsibility to reach back and pull people forward with us. And I love that you do that. You are so helpful, so generous with your heart and your knowledge and your insight. And I really want to thank you for that. And I know we have a ton more questions. You have a ton more. You have three calls that you need to return because you got yes. customers who need. Yes, we can have a part three sometime soon too. I'm cool yes. with that. <laughs> Absolutely. And maybe what we'll do too is we'll answer the rest of the questions in an email, and I'll send those out. Oh, uh, perfect. In a in the replay email as this goes out. So um, on the chat. Oh, on the chat. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, there's lots of stuff over there. Can you print this? Like, can we see what these are or, or how does that work? No, it doesn't. But we've got plenty of questions in your box. So oh, okay. Okay. That way. And then you guys know we're easy to get a hold of. You can reach me at orders at notarycoach.com. If you're part of the Sign and Thrive course and community, you probably have my cell phone number. Feel free to He answers me. too. I love you. He helped me last week. I, I answer you. sometimes on the phone. Yeah, yeah, I know. Always we're all busy too. Message. Yes. <laughs> Guys, thank you yeah. so much for taking time out of your Sunday. April, especially you. Sundays, guys, just for the record, Sundays, if you're into general notary work, are probably going to be one of your busiest days because yes. banks are closed, UPS is closed, FedEx doesn't even do notary anymore. So yes. when people need you. And April, thank you for carving time out of your busy Sunday for us. Of course. Like I have to say one other thing real quick. Another place to market business is leave your, go to banks, go to these ones that people are going to because nine times out of 10, they're going to have a customer that they can't help because they need it mobile. And you want them to be able to say, Hey, here's a notary. Some may do it. Some may not. You'll never know until you go. So go out there and do it. <laughs> I love that you even brought that up because my two biggest referral sources are Wells Fargo branches. The merchant tellers refer their customers to me, instead of their teller notaries, because these bank tellers don't get any training and they're terrified and they get all the liability 
with none of the training. So even when there is a notary on site, they say they're not there. They're at lunch. Because they're just exactly. There yeah, because they don't want to do it. Yeah. And yeah. nobody do all this in Denton. This is my town. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's all. It's I all love good. it, April. Thank <laughs> you so much, guys. All right, bye, y'all. It was fun. Well. Hope y'all had a good business time. Business on a Sunday afternoon. You guys. Yes. Talk to you later. I'm not shaking anymore. Bye, Bill. Thank you. Love to you all. <laughs>